Hi, I'm Bob Bitchin. Welcome to Latitudes and Attitudes from beautiful Vavao, Tonga. I just want a chance to prove to myself that money can't buy happiness. Susanna, what do you got for us this week? Hello, Bob. This week we're in for a real treat as we visit one of your favorite cruising spots in the whole world, the Kingdom of Tonga. Three couples enjoyed a week in the only South Pacific Island nation never ruled by Europeans. First, they explored the main island of Tonga Tapu, and then they sailed a remote Vavao group of islands. And at the Annapolis Sailboat Show, Bob found a truly innovative line of synthetic standing rigging from Coligo Marine. Pound for pound, that stuff is stronger than steel. Now, how about that theme song, Eric? My mind is made up. I'm gonna sail away. Latitudes and attitudes will help me find my way with my loving cup. A little salt and a lick of lime. I'll set my course for adventure. Of course, on island time. Bob and Jody and friends land in Tonga and tour a bit of the capital and the main island. South of Samoa and east of Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga is a Pacific Ocean archipelago that stretches north and south for 500 miles. Comprised of island groups, the southernmost chain is where you'll find the main island of Tonga Tapu. The word kingdom is very accurate, as this is where the actual king resides. The king's palace was being refurbished, so we couldn't get any really good shots. But, as you can see, the king does have some nice waterfront property. Peter, our gracious tour guide, gave us Tongan history lessons and drove us around the island through the many plantations to take in some very interesting sites. History came alive as Peter took us to an area featuring the densest concentration of ancient structures in the Pacific. This particular spot, I won't even try to pronounce the name, is referred to as Stonehenge of the South Pacific. We also took in the spot where Captain Cook first landed here in 1777. At the east end of the island, we got to see one of Tonga's natural wonders, the blowholes. As you can imagine, we could have spent all afternoon taking in nature's show. On the way back into town, we witnessed a sight we wouldn't have otherwise believed, the Tongan fishing pigs. Evidently, these little guys come out every day and actually catch fish. They say Tonga Tapu is where old Tonga and the new Tonga collide. Watching a young Tongan boy play shoeless at the Tonga Golf Club brought that notion home. Our Latitudes and Attitudes group stopped in at Friends Cafe for a nice leisurely lunch. Again, the old and new seem to come together here as in addition to great food, they also have an internet cafe and Wi-Fi. The capital city is Nuku'alofa, a fairly bustling place for a small Pacific Island nation. All the things a cruiser would ever need can be found here, although it might take some searching. Fortunately, they don't call these the friendly islands for nothing. Tongans are truly warm and friendly people and are very happy to help visitors. We checked out the Central Market, where not only will you find a great assortment of fresh fruits and vegetables, but a wide variety of genuine Tongan arts and crafts. On the recommendation of our wonderful host, David Hunt, we stayed at the very nice Waterfront Hotel. Owned by an Italian immigrant, the hotel also has the Taste of Italy restaurant inside. A welcome change from cooking on board. And after sleeping the previous two weeks on charter boats in New Zealand, it was a nice change of pace spending the night in air-conditioned comfort in their well-appointed Ocean View rooms. Latitudes and Attitudes is brought to you by The Moorings, a world leader in yacht charters offering five-star service. The Moorings, what do you want to do? Don't go away. Latitudes and Attitudes will be right back.